Hi, Todd here. I'm going to give you a quick tip on how to store your paddle. You know what to do with it when you're out on the water? You put it in the water. But when you come home, there are certain ways that you want to store it. We sell paddle hangers, which they aren't just for decor. We make our paddles to be used, but we also make them as works of art that look good on your wall. So we make two offers, two offerings. Uh, one is a leather hanger, just a simple strap that you then create a loop and screw that into the wall. Also, we offer these simple wood hangers, pre-drilled, and you screw down the wall. Um, really simple options. And the reason that you want to store your paddle hanging, for one, you can display it. It looks nice. It shows off those scars that you put into the blade from your last trip. And people are going to say, oh, wow, you put that in there? And you're going to say, yeah, this is how it happened. you got to store it yourself. But the other reason is because these paddles are made out of wood. And so if you lean them into a corner, they sit there long enough. For one, it means you're not in the water enough. But for two, the wood will warp. And you're going to end up with something like this. You don't want that. Bent shaft paddles are meant to be bent a different way. Anyway, so our hangers, two simple things. The wood hanger, just screwed into the wall. Done. The leather hanger, like I said, you create a loop. And kind of flatten it out, get your blade in there, and then cause it to drop a little or your grip in there, and then hang it like that. Now, we do also offer, or not offer, but uh, another option is to go blade up. So just feed the grip through, and then there you go. The weight of the blade, the weight of the paddle will hold it nice and sturdy on the wall. Remember, store your paddle properly. You don't want to have a paddle like I just showed you.